We're all in. We are off. Wave, girls. Hello. Good morning. What are we doing? Getting breakfast. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Yum, yum, yum. So we've just stopped off to grab some food and to say the car's a little full. Al, did you say the car's a little full? I'd say the car is very, you very, girls are right very back full. there. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've got food. Charlie, you're on the boat. And that's us for a week, We're heading out into the Norfolk Broads. Where are we off to, girls? See the monk. Apparently there's a ghost of a monk who lives in this ruin. So we had a nice pub dinner. What are we doing now? Oh, watching the rugby. Yeah, we are. All snuggled. The dining room turns into a double bed, so we've kind of made a slumber party. Harley, where are you, are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good morning, Harley. Did you sleep well? How are you, morning, Daddy? Mommy. Did you sleep well? Oh, I slept very well, other than the dog kept chucking his lips and getting in between <laughs> us. And he's banging the neck. During the night, if anything happened, <laughs> you're sleeping in here tonight. You got dippy eggs. Oh, thank you. How about you, girls? Did you do all right? You sleep okay? Filling your face with chocolate craves. Ready for the day? Yay, let's go, teenagers. <laughs> Morning, Jess, how are you getting on? Uh, okay. Yeah? Pajar, you all right? Yeah. You cleaning the decks? Yeah. Okay, so just stay away from that over the brush. So Jess has just taken us out of our berth where we were overnight. Harley's just making sure everything's ship shape in Bristol fashion. So you may have just seen the breakfast video. We've just left Ludham and we're heading up to Potterheim to go and have uh, a cream tea, I think Dan wants, and maybe buy some more fishing equipment. Uh, we caught a few fish last night, but um, I didn't put that on camera because here's the happy crew. We all right, guys? There's Ludham behind us. 
Uh, very lucky today. It is an amazing day because of that thing. Um, I think this is going to be our nicest day of the trip, so we are going to make the most of it on the top deck. There's the taxi rank. The food's coming, Jess. Very excited. We're in the middle of Great Yarmouth. Jess, what do you think of your um, taxi rank fish and chips? Pretty good. It's not too bad, is it? And we've got a sausage for the boy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. When Sky F1 channel won't let you Chromecast to the TV in the boat, you have to improvise, right, babe? Yeah, I'm <laughs> We're watching it on the phone, on the roof, so we can just chill out. Enjoy the race, Bobba. I will, thanks. <laughs> this morning, we are crossing Braden Water. We just went through the bridges at Great Yarmouth. Now, we are just going through Braden Water. Morning. OCD doing his ropes. They've got to be nice and round and perfect. Can you see him? Look at him. With his little mate helper. So we've just gone under the railway bridge at Reedham. So we're well and truly into the South Downs now. Uh, South Downs, <laughs> South Broads. So we've got Reedham ahead of us. We're going to go all the way past it today, uh, heading up to Norwich, and then come back down tomorrow to pick up um, Jessica's mum and brother.
I thought is our first roach. Okay. Oh, wow, he's got lots of little black spots over him. I've never seen that before. You're not keen on the wiggling, Jess. <laughs> you wiggled at me. So, Jess just caught her first. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jess just caught her first roach. Right, come on, you got to hold it, Jess. Why is it oh, no, no, slimy? Just, just hold it, just hold it, just hold it. Ah! Show the camera. See? Please, can I put him down now? Just climb in the water. <laughs> A dog. <laughs> I've just unhooked his Paige's first roach. Right. Wrap your hand around it. Pass it gently. Don't squeeze him too hard. Try the camera. Nice. <laughs> so put him back in the water head first. Can I just chuck him? Head first if you can. Have you caught a biggie, Daddy? Not a biggie, but a species I haven't caught for a while. I'll put him in a towel with that tiger stripes on that bad boy. Nice, mm. Yeah, nice little perch. Look at that mouth. <laughs> Morning all, it is Tuesday morning. We have woken up in this lovely little pub. It's a bit rainier out there. Pretty wet. But it should be stopping soon and then that'll be all the rain for the day. And we can get back up on top. So rainy day mornings for the girls start like this. Queen's Gambit. <laughs> Today, due to the weather, we are having to captain inside the boat. Got visibility, Mr. Jakes? No. Inside the boat is nowhere near as good as outside the boat. There's a massive blind spot right <laughs> where you don't want to hit stuff. But it just about worked. The sun will come out tomorrow. I don't think it will. So when you drive into the broads, you have to drive across this bridge. And then when you're on the broads, you go under it. TGI Fridays. here go get some lunch the rain has finally stopped folks check it we can see out the windows considering putting on my coat and sitting up the top what do you reckon, Mr. J? We could do that. It's a bit cold, though, isn't it? So? Let's, Let's go! go. Let's we made it up to the top of the deck today, even though it was a little bit cold and wet. It's been a cold, miserable day, but it won't stop us. We're up here. We're all, uh, the sun's going down in about an hour. 15 minutes to go to a little place called Lodden, which we have never been to before, so I was determined to get another one ticked off the list. I think we've done everywhere on the broads then. So uh, yeah, we should be getting there in about 10 minutes. Dan's going to do us a nice spag bowl for dinner. The girls are already sitting in their cabin just playing tech and completely missing the beauty. <laughs> it is um, beautiful up here, I'll show you in a second. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And uh, yeah, a cold, troublesome, wet day, but still a lovely day. Still relaxing and not as well. Yep. Speed check 
tracks in this area. Watch out for the pole pole in the bushes. The speed limit is currently three mile an hour. Made it into Loddon. Just tying her up. So we're out and we can just see Harley sat next to him there doing a bit of fishing at the front of the boat. Getting my cook on. Make a spag bowl. Dinner. And the girls. Queen's Gambit again. There can't be much of that left. Oh yeah. <laughs> and now the dinner's on. This is me. So we are just pulling out of Loddon. <clears throat> Alan's up top. We're on our way to get Helen and Ryan. morning here on the Norfolk Broads. We're just coming past the Reedham Ferry. So the Reedham Ferry does one car. It's a little chain ferry which we're just letting go past. And then lift up the back as you can see. steer all of a sudden I looked down and apparently the first mate's taking control. You alright there Holes? He is about to crash us so we need to move in that line. Hello! So we left Loddon about an hour and a half, an hour ago and we've just arrived back at Reedham to pick up our second guests. Hello! So, <laughs> so now Jess has got the rest of her family or a couple more. Keep her busy. And then we're off to where are we going this morning? Beckles. Beckles. So we're going to go to. Hang on. Let's get the map. Here is where we picked you up and read them. Last night we spent the night in Loddon. So the idea is tonight we're going to come down all the way here this afternoon. And then we're going to get to Lower Stoff, get off the boat, go for a walk, go and have some lunch. And then go all the way down to the South Beckles. And then either get some pizzas delivered to the boat or go and get some pizza. Off into Beckles. Hey, Peggy. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Helen and Ryan joined us yesterday. Hopefully, we've got video of that. So, Captain Ryan has just been constantly on it. Um, he's loving driving. He's doing a really good job, to be fair. So back there about half an hour is Beckles. We've left Beckles this morning and we're going up to Reedham, which is about three hours this way. What are we doing, Mr. J? 
we are about to phone the Summerlandton Swing Bridge because at the moment it's high tide and we will not get underneath it. So we're going to ask them if they can open the railway bridge. Thanks, sir. Bye now. The gentleman's going to open the bridge for us in five minutes after the train's gone through. Lovely. Enjoying it, Ryan. Yeah. Got about another 30 40 minutes to steam to read them, and then there's a lovely pub with a lovely log fire. We're gonna have a love, nice lunch in the warm. These guys are gonna get in the car and go home, and we're gonna head to Rain and Water, Great Yarmouth, and then up to Arkle Bridge, where there's another pub. <laughs> For that little mooring spot right there between the two white boats. Just gonna stop here for a spot of lunch before we say goodbye to Ryan and Helen. Let's see what they got. windows for me because the windscreen wipers are absolutely tiny and do almost nothing. So the plan this afternoon we've just crossed the Braden Water here, got under those bridges plan is to get as close to Arkle as we can. Okay, so we have got a bit of an emergency. So we had an alarm go on the boat which made everyone go scary scary. And so I've gone onto the control panel and it turns out that we're very, very, very hot. Um, that's about to go red. So I've slowed all the way down to about four mile an hour um, and I got it to creep down. But anyway, long and short of it is we're not moving very fast. Um, Dan, if you take the help for a second. So I phoned the engineer and he was very useful and he said, have a look underneath the bed. I don't know if you can hear me now. And there will be, oh, hang on one sec. Oh. There will be a strainer. Um, hang on, where's the light? And as you can see, our water strainer is full of gun. So we are limping to get that serviced effectively. So we are currently. Da, 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 we are currently. We came through Yarmouth about an hour ago, hoping to get to Stokesby. It's about two hours. We're currently here, and the engineer is waiting for us here. So, but we're having to go very, very slowly to get there. But as you can see, that beautiful sunset is going down. So we need to get moored up pretty quickly. So we're gonna try and get to the Stacey Arms as quick as we can, get the boat serviced quickly, and then go to the pub. So we're at high tide at the Broads today and as you can see the water level is very high. Um, that little outbuilding is the water's in their gardens. 
So there's the uh, there's the key side over there, and as you can see, it's only an inch below breaking its bank. Where we were last night, it actually had broken its bank, um, but I put the mud anchor down and tied it to four places, and she was okay. So last day, we're heading up to Potterheim for lunch. We've seemed to be got over our engine issues. The old girl's doing six knots and staying under 80 degrees, so that's good. Um, so we're gonna go and get a pasty up at Potterheim and then make our way more than halfway back, um, ready for our last morning, because we've got to be back by nine o'clock in the morning. Oh look, these guys are dredging out. Looks like they were dredging out someone's private mooring, maybe to give it a service or uh, make it into a dry dock or something, who knows. Beautiful foggy morning, a little bit cold, but don't worry, I'm still rocking my shorts. Hang on, wait, can you see? Yeah. Got a coat and hat, you don't need anything covered, you don't need you don't need trousers. It's not December yet, is it? Man up. Danny's just made me some yogurt for breakfast. She's down there getting ready now, and then we'll get the lazy teenagers up um, and enjoy our last day on the broads. So we've managed to get the uh, teenager off of her tech. That's unfair. It's not unfair in any way, shape or form, I'm afraid. So Captain Paige at the moment, while mum is just chilling out with her, with the other kid. Oh the boy. So, Dan, yeah. it, it was a little uh, sunny this morning, which was nice, and now what's happened? into a horror movie. <laughs> I don't know if that comes across well on the camera, but it's very, very eerie. We can see like 20 meters ahead of us, and then it's just fog. Can't see anything. So, Mr. Jakes, we just got to Potterheim, and what happened? It's all flooded. We can't actually get off because all of the moorings are flooded. Literally nowhere to stand. I was going to get a fry up, but now I can't get a fry up, so I've got to up. He's not happy because he can't now get his fry up. So we're heading this way into the misty morning in the hope of getting a fry up because we're out of food on the boat. I don't know if you can see all the moorings on both sides, left and right, are literally underwater. So. There'll be no getting off here unless you've got waders. Why am I doing the video? You're doing the video. <laughs> so we went to get a fry up at Part Iron. It was actually high tide and flooded. We couldn't actually get off the boat because um, you'd need wellies. So we've come down to, um, I can't remember. The line at Fern. The line at Fern. <laughs> and the food is shown the food bar. Pretty good. And they've got their own homemade beer as well. It's gorgeous. Nice. And Holly, they do saucy sausage, doggy sausages, don't they? Yeah. Happy lunchtime. And there she is. Our steed. With our little guard dog on the back. Go on then girls, on you get. Goodbye Horning, that's where we stayed last night. It's been very flooded, their water is much higher than it normally is. It's at low tide now and you can see it's almost bursting the banks. But um, that's us, we are currently now steaming towards uh, Roxham and where the boat lives. It's only about an hour away this morning, so uh, we'll enjoy this beautiful brisk morning together. It's a little cold, it's a little cold. I've still got my shorts on though, look at that, shorts. 
I've rocked my shorts all week. You've just got to man up and get on with it, although my fingers are bloody freezing. Um, so yeah, that's us. We are on our way back. It's been another great week on the Norfolk Broads. We'll 110% do it again. Uh, lessons learned, bring different fishing gear. Definitely gonna go after the big perch next time I come. And the other thing would be come in the summer. Um, although it has been great in October, it's just a little too cold. Anyway, see you all soon. Hope you enjoyed the video.